Stop pulling off that trip and start taking some steps to achieve it. In this video, I'm going to share four steps that Christine and I took for a trip that we nearly never took. We spoke about it, we thought about it, but we nearly never took it until we took these four steps. Hi, my name is Mark. I've been retired for just over a year, and this channel is devoted to those who are contemplating retirement pretty soon, people who are in semi-retirement, and those of you who are retired, we, we want to talk about retirement issues. Anyway, so Christine and I did this trip recently. We did about 4,800 kilometers, which is nearly 3,000 miles, and it was a trip that we nearly never took because we all we did was talk about it. Now, before I get into these four steps, there's a top tip that I want to share about booking accommodation that may save you literally hundreds of rands. Anyway, so let's get into it then. Step number one, stop talking and make a decision about the kind of trip that you want to do. Is it a destination orient trip? Is it a, a road trip? What kind of trip is it? Is it to the beach, to the mountains? What kind of, make a decision about doing the trip. You know, before COVID, Christina, I've been part of this group that we used to do Anything from a seven day to a 10 day a road trip on motorbikes, on adventure bikes. And it was fantastic. And we've been all over the countryside doing these trips. Now, during COVID, for some reason, some of the guys sold their bikes, some of the people uh, moved cities, and others just lost interest in riding their motorbikes. So when COVID ended, we, Christine, I haven't really done a real long trip. And we spoke about it. Eventually, we decided. This is the kind of trip. We want to go to Hrabis Falls in the Northern Cape, in this beautiful country of South Africa. And we want to go to Cape Town, to Hrabis, follow the Orange River. I mean, here's some footage from our trip and you can see it was just the most wonderful trip. So as you can see, we had a fantastic time and it all started because we decided this is where we want to go. This is the kind of trip we want to do and this is where we want to go. Step number two, stop trying to accommodate everybody's schedule. It's going to be difficult to set time apart. I mean, even in retirement, even in semi-retirement, so many of us are really, really busy. And we've got to try to find time. We've got to figure out, is this going to be a one-week trip, a two-week trip? Well, we figured out and we carved out about 20 days for this trip. Five of those days would include visiting our daughter in Cape Town. Now, to try and coincide, because I still do some work, I do some consulting and I do some strategy work with a few people, I had to tell my clients, listen, I'm going to be away from this day to that day. It may not have suited all of them, but it never is going to suit everybody. So we've got to just figure out the right days. And then once you've decided where you want to go, once you have figured out the dates that you want to do it, the trip begins to take a, a, a momentum all of its own. So it starts with those two steps. First of all, where we're going to go, and secondly, in what time period we're going to do this in. Hey, by the way, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Step number three, stop talking about that you don't have enough money or talking about money and simply do a budget. I think so often when we want to plan these trips, we begin to think how much it's going to cost and we get all kind of panicky with can we afford it. This is what Christy and I did. The first thing we did was we kind of estimated and, and we calculated how much money we spend by staying at home. 
I mean, that's the fact, right? You're going to eat at home. You're going to drive your car at home. You're going to maybe entertain at home. So you're going to kind of factor in those kind of things and say, well, how much money would we have spent at home? So already that is contributed to the, to the trip because <laughs> we, we're not at home. <laughs> it makes sense, doesn't it? And then we looked at the other elements of accommodation and, the, and maybe the extra fuel that we would need to because we're going on this extended road trip. And actually, we came up with, a, with an amount and we figured out, yes, we can afford that amount. And if you do a daily budget and then you figure out, this is what we're going to spend daily, then that, what that means is if you don't meet your budget today, it carries over till tomorrow. What it does is it liberates us. It sets us free because now we know how much money we're in for and how much we can spend. And so we're not always worrying in the back of our mind because there's nothing that this is a trip up than worrying about money. Step number four, plan, research, and commit to the trip. One of the best parts about a trip is planning the trip. Half the fun is anticipating, getting ready, planning and deciding, are we gonna go there and we're gonna stay there, we're gonna do one night there and two nights there. And when you go and get into that whole vein, I mean, it it becomes so much fun. You begin to work out, well, what's the weather gonna be like and what should we take with us? And as we're doing this on a motorbike, there's a limited amount of kit that we can take. So I hope these four steps make sense to you. So here's that top tip. So I like to do our accommodation booking through booking.com. But this is what I figured out. I don't like to search for properties on on my phone app. Because when I do that, my fat fingers don't touch it. It just becomes a frustration for me. So what I like to do is to go search for the property on the website on on my laptop. And then when I find it, I go and have a look. On, on the phone because often on the phone has special phone deals. Now here's an example. So this place that I looked at here, you can see, is, is a place called Kharip View. And I just did this randomly in preparation for this trip. And you can see there's from the 18th of April to the 21st. I'm not doing this trip. As I said, this is the random trip. Now you'll, you'll see there that there's a mobile only price. And it's for three, originally for three nights, 3,447 Rand. And now this is discounted to 2,308 as a mobile price only. This very same trip, the same venue, and there the original price was 3,275 Rand. And the actual price I'll pay if I booked it online through the, the website, it will cost me 2,756 Rand. Whereas if I book it through my phone, it's 2,308 Rand. I mean, that's over a 400 Rand savings over three nights. You take that and you multiply that into the rest of your trip. Now, I don't know whether it works like this. On every booking on booking.com, maybe some uh, facilities don't have these kind of advantages, but you can check it out and you can potentially save quite a lot of money. Hey, once again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you again later. Thank you for watching. God bless you.